Hi everyone. I wanted to show you how to do this spike stitch that I use for this rainbow headband. Sorry about all the strings. Um, so what you do is a spike stitch is basically a long single crochet. Um, they call it long because it goes into the spaces below the actual uh, single crochet. So I'm going to go ahead and um, work a regular single crochet for this one and then as you see if you turn your work you can see the top of the chains of your single crochets so when you follow that down right to the bottom of it where it attaches to the end other end that's where you're going to work your long single crochet for this pattern other patterns might call for you to go two rows down which would mean one, two, but this one we're just going to do right here. So you insert it, you pull up your loop to the same level as your working row, and then you yarn over and pull through. And that is your single crochet that's long or spike stitch. And so there's stitch, you just worked this stitch, so you're not going to work into the same stitch. You're just going to go into the next one and work your single crochet. And then you're going to work below the next one. And then into, oops, this yarn is a little slippery and stretchy. Just let me know. So you pull up, pull through. Doggies aren't happy apparently. They're whimpering. Sorry, Zelda. Okay, so that's how you basically do a long single crochet spike stitch. So I hope that helps you work this pattern. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. I'm always here to help. Thank you. Have a great day.